in the 13th lab program we have two parts first one is the triangular waveform and second one is the square waveform okay so let's first understand what is the triangular and square waveform in square waveform we have to generate we have to change the voltage from 0 to 100 then we will delay some time then again come back to 0 like that we will do till uh, the infinite loop okay in the triangular waveform also we will do the same thing but to get a slanting line we have to do some uh, modification okay what we will be doing is if you observe the triangular waveform carefully we have the voltage changes at uh, very fast intervals okay means at this interval it is uh, 1 volt then it becomes 2 volt 3 volt 4 volt 5 volt like that till 100 volt okay it goes till 100 then again it comes back to 0 like that uh, we will be generating the triangular waveform and the code is also uh, the same thing for these both so in the coding part we have the initialization part here in the triangular waveform the pin select will select those pins in which uh, by using which we can generate the waveform and then the DAC register will be um, made as zero initially okay this will contain the voltage then writing the DAC means in the sixth bit we have to write the DAC value which will display the uh, whatever volt we want to display in the um, output okay and in the int pin we have the initialization part and after that we have the while loop which uh, runs from 0 to 1024 here we have two for loops the first for loop run, uh, runs from 0 to 1024 where the um, each i value will be sent to write DAC okay so first 0 will be sent then 1 then 2 till 1024 okay so whenever we send any value that output will be displayed in the output screen okay so like that it will go till here it will stop and after that what's the next code the next for loop will run from from uh, 1023 to 0 okay for each uh, value will be displaying the output like uh, like that it will come from this point to this point okay and the same thing we'll be doing for the square waveform also in the square waveform we'll be using the delay function the same thing in init function here and then the uh, writing of the DAC value here uh, we'll be using the delay function here for delaying the uh, output means if it uh, reaches 100 here then it will delay for some time then again come here and delay for some time okay for that we are calling the delay function and then in the int main we have the we'll call the init function and then in the while loop we'll have the write DAC first we'll send as 0 then uh, delay for 100 milliseconds and then we'll send as 1023 so uh, whenever we send as 0 this will be displayed and then delay will display this then 100 uh, and then um, 1023 will display uh, this one then again 0 1023 and 0 that will be displayed alternatively okay since this is a um, infinite while loop okay so this is all about the generation of uh, square and triangular waveforms let's move on to the next one